Yeah. I was in the heart of it, man. I was in the heart of it, where it all happened, in the dark of it, I'm talking all the graphics, do I ever miss a block, man, they all ass I think it's heaven at the top, till it all crashes, I was functioning with the rest, cause I was one of them, look, every soldier around kept a gun on them, everything looking for them, running up on them, I got some pictures in my mind, I could never post them, it was explosive every day, we made a show of it, tried to get rich and die, try, had to go for it, the generation of the killer made you know of it, but it's hard to be proud when you're grown from it, the clear wrong of it, it seemed right then, a fraternity of brothers stay fighting, for respect and a disrespectful environment, damn the danger in the trenches, what's exciting, life is the kill, at least that's how we move, and your word written deal has to show and prove, and the strikes we approve was a stepping stool, the network grew, so did the investment grew, I was in the heart of it, where it all happened, in the dark of it, I'm talking all the graphics, do I ever miss a block, man, they all ass I think it's heaven at the top, it all this is Gangsta Gangsta, and I am your host, Ascari Abdul Mutakam, and I'm here with my co host, Mr. Michael Hall. Mr. Michael Hall, also known as Quack Quack, baby duck. Uh, you getting started early in the morning, huh? Well, how you, how you know it's early in the morning, man? Some people might be watching this at midnight. <laughs> early in the morning. <laughs> I know here. it's early in the morning because I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> So I know it's hard that I'm doing it. It ain't early, early in the morning, but it's in the morning. It's like 10, 10, 15, something like that. Yeah, you know, so. Right, right, right. Filming this thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, so what we what we doing, Michael? Like, like what we where we at, man? Like, we're, um, Gashi, Gashi, we have to get back on the air. We got to start doing our thing. So what we doing? Talk to me. Um, we, we trying to uh, start doing episodes again. If you can stop <laughs> doing 500 other jobs <laughs> that is so true that is so true that's so true that's so true like like i am like crazy busy um i mean it's a good job like i mean it's a good thing it's a good problem to have i say right i used to know i i tell people when i was in the joint I, these, these are the problems i prayed to have right you know like damn man i need to get out here and but i am like crazy busy I got a lot of uh, uh, uh things on the table you know uh so um uh, but we got to get Gangsta Gangsta back on the air, back doing what we do, because, you know, you know, we do what we do, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah. We, we got our little niche, so we got to keep it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I want to do. I want to do a lot, a lot more uh, prison uh, interviews. Uh, we like, a- like who you want to interview that's in prison? Um. So it's, it's not about a who for me, right? It's about right. it's, it's about like like making sure that the voices are actually heard because I know that everybody's story is 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 similar but it's also unique right and everybody's right. story like deserves to be told because we're not um we're not documenting history here that's not what we do on gangster gangster we're not you know like the other channels where we're, where we're laying down the history of what happened we're talking about you know, we we getting into the to the soul of a man, right? We are talking about man, what's going on with you? What happened in your life? And that dude may not be known by nobody else, right? In, in, up in the joint, right. or, you know, who's up in the joint? He may not be known by nobody else on the streets, but he may have a story that reaches somebody, touches somebody. So for me, it's not about a who. You know, we always going to get some who's, right? That's just the reality. We know we we know right. that. And, and and the more and more we on the air, the, the more leverage we can use. I mean, because that's been our model so far. It's kind of like leverage the relationship that we already have to try to get right. some views. Um, but the more and more we, we, we find people who want to come on, um, I think that their stories are valuable. So for me, again, it's it's, a, it's more about um, doing the interview than who who it is. Right. Okay. So it it for you, it's not so so much important about the person is more about who's willing to come on here and tell their story you want to hear it right right i want to hear it right. hear that's that's a theme like that i was like if if you was in this life i want to know i want to know what i want to talk about it what it, from your right. perspective you don't have to share my my view about it right you don't have to you don't have to think about it the way i do or or you know have the the objectives I have you just but I want to hear what you're talking about like what's what's going on with you why do you feel this way about it because if you feel that way about it, somebody else do too and that's resonating right and the more and more we we build a body of work 
people are gonna be like, okay, you know, I, I can dig that. I I'm, I come on Gangster Gangster, I always know I'm gonna hear something real, right? That we we right. Ain't, not getting the scripted scripted, you know, nonsense. You know, it ain't right. lacious. I mean, there are times where we want big interviews. Like if, mm -hmm. if, if we can get them, we absolutely. But the reality is that when we get those big interviews, we want to actually have those all of those conversations that we have with everybody else, right? We don't want to be, you know, right. about you know personalities more I mean, sometimes history is important that's that's absolutely true it's what draws people people want to know certain things so you know that's cool too but uh, in, in the end we want to talk about what's going on inside people right yeah i agree with you on that um it's just good to talk to people uh see what they've been through in their life you know uh you know i could talk about what i've been through and like you said um we have a lot in common, but our stories are unique. So you're always going to get something different from from uh, different individuals. You know, right. uh, some people might have, you know, uh, went through some of the same stuff that you went through. But at the same time, it ain't going to be exactly what you went through. So it's always good to talk to other people, get different perspective, no matter who those people are. You know, it could be somebody that you consider to be a nobody, but that person still could bring something unique to the table, something that maybe we never heard or never experienced ourselves. So I, I get what you're saying on that point. Uh, for me though, I've been talking to a few people uh, that I'm looking forward to us interviewing. And uh, you know, one of the persons is Madbone. You know, I had a conversation with him and he uh, told me that he was willing to come on Gangsta Gangsta. Uh, so, Hopefully he keep his word on that and we get an opportunity to talk to him. Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, no. So uh, right. that, 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 that would be amazing. Right. Um, right. Right. Um, and because, um, I mean, it, it, it just don't get no more gangster than that. Right. You know, like, right. because it, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to unpack. There's a lot, that happens and goes on in in in, in the life of Madbone, right? Um, you know, without getting into all those, you know, the details of anything. Like just it's just, just him as a man and, and coming into where he where he was and where he's at now. What's what he's looking at? And you know, a lot of people don't know um, who are out there that when we get to a certain age, right? Uh, we, we we see the world differently. We start talking differently. You and I talk to Madbone, so we 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 know. But 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 nobody knows, you know, unless they hear. Like, wait, this is this is where we at now. This is what we talking about. This is what we trying to push now. Um, and I, I what I, I particularly like about what Madbone was talking about was that he he wants to be able. He does come on. He wants to be able to talk about how we can keep children safe. Right. right. You know, right. and. And that, that, that comes from somewhere, and I, I really love to find out where that comes from. What's driving him, you know, to, to, to want to be pushing in that area. So um, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm excited to, to, to see that interview. I'm, I'm praying that, we, you know, we, we're able to get it and everything goes right. They'll right. come on, you know. Right. <laughs> and uh, another person I talked to, which I seen the other day, was uh, Sodicon. And uh, so uh, he told me that, He's uh, willing to come on Gangster Gangster also. So, uh, again, if we can get that interview, uh, he can. I know he has a lot to say, and that would be a very uh, interesting interview. Again, how do you feel about interviewing Sodi Khan? So, well, so Big, uh, so Big Sodi would uh, be. Um, I, I I would actually be more excited about a, a Sodi interview than even Madball, right? Um, and it's because the way Sodi, you know, like his influence was, you know, in a, in a different in a different vein, right? Like you know, uh, the, how he influenced A. Trey Gangster, um, but also, you know, like his historical ties and i really want to talk i really really want to talk about um al capone right i really want right. i gotta give al capone his flowers and and have a conversation uh, a, a real conversation about 
Al Capone. Many of you know love Al Capone and you know died without reconnect body because he died after he came home and to, to, uh, to put that mark mark that English, like that that relationship there and how everything happened so that would be fascinating like what goes on you know Al Capone and Astody in the same house like where did that come from you know that was that was yeah. an exciting kind of a uh, 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 thing and you know and everybody knows that um you know little so um and the ball was interested in that story i'm sure they want to talk about talk about that at all but um that's a um you know, that's a that's an interesting storyline as well yeah yeah I, uh i would uh love to interview sody as well um uh, i uh looked up to sody for a long time you know he's a big on me uh i remember the last time I really, uh, when when Sody was really involved in the set, and I was really involved in the set, we was in the county jail. That was in 1988, and uh, we was in the crib module. And uh, Sody had taught me so much. You know, he was in the cell with me, and uh, so it'd be good to interview him and to really uh, discuss some of those things that we experienced during that time, as well as you know things before my time. You know, right, as well as right. his childhood and as well as him being a father, uh, as well as him being, you know, uh, him in a Al Capone relationship. So that yeah. would be, I think that's going to be a very good uh, interview. I can't wait for us to get into the studio with him as well as Mad Bone. And, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, put talk gang, to talk. back on the map. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think those two have put us back on the map. You know, since you've been missing in action, <laughs> I'm blaming you for this, J. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's I, your I fault. I do have blame. I do have blame. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know what? Talking to big homies like um, that's the kind of thing that that, that I uh, enjoy doing because I want to know. Um, I'm always interested in knowing how they saw themselves. We said we cats like me, young like young kids who were, who were running around looking up to him, and you know, you're a little older than me, but you, but you like it's, it's actually crazy, you know. Talk about this on against, against right uh, how that 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 little gap between us, that little gap, fifty four, fifty six, right? You're fifty seven yet? You, 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 you right. Right? Fifty seven. Yeah, you 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 you're old man. Uh, but that little gap, <laughs> that little three year gap, right? is huge i mean it's, it's monstrous in in generational gangsterism right um because you know the first time i saw you right i was 13 or 14 right when you and little kb were like bitch in school about to go do some crazy stuff and 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 i wasn't even able to go with y'all because i was so young but i'm only right. three yeah at that time you know y'all was like you know 16, you know, 16, 17, yeah. that was out doing, doing the most. Right. And, uh, but that's how that goes. Like, that's, that's, that's just right. how that goes. So I'd be really interested in talking to uh to have on the Sony, like how they view only under them. Like they right. were, were they trying to influence because you know so much influence on us. Like like were you trying to do that or like what was you trying to do? Like, had that conversation like dig into that mentality yeah 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 i agree um yeah I, i've been talking to a lot of people though and uh you know so i got a lot of yes we're gonna see i don't want to put people name out there right now but uh yeah we this should be a good season yeah this if, should if, be. If, if i can get you to focus on gangster gangster uh, I, promise, I gotta get you to focus, man. I can't promise to focus on gas. I say I can't promise to focus on gas, but I can promise to be more focused on gas and gas. Right. Like, you can't just solely focus on that. I understand that, but yeah, <laughs> be more focused on it. You know, so we can, uh, you know, start putting these episodes out there, so you know, people can, you know, get 
an understanding of what some of these guys been going through. You know, what led them to be gangsters. That's what I want to know. I want to, yeah, you, you know, know, I want to know what these guys been through. So, you know, one of the Not other just guys, but, but, but girls too. Yeah, one of the other things I want to do is is kind of expand our universe, right? Dance universe, and do some San Diego interviews. Um, right. With this young cat I work with, um, he, uh, you know, he was, you know, he was, he's formerly involved in everything. I wanted to like, like, expand our universe, hope to, like, figure out ways we can franchise this bad boy all over the country where we can have this, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, um, you know, gangster reality all over the country. You know, like uh, that's my little, that's my that's, that's my little dude. That's one of my little dudes. <laughs> um, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I've been thinking about that. So hopefully, you know, that that can happen too. Where uh, ultimately we we can start traveling across the country and doing any um interesting stories that. Um, Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so what you gonna pay for me a uh, a ticket to come out that way? Yeah, well you mean no, that's, that's, a, that's a that's a freeway drive. You talking about that? <laughs> you know what? Some gas money. Okay, some and, gas money. They got like a forty-five dollar train ride down. Like, before we go ah man, <laughs> there you go, man. You, you got all the money. You got five jobs. You got all the money. I you could at least that. pay for some gas. Yeah. No, no, for sure I'll pay for pay, pay, pay for the gas down here. Hey, man, I was I've been telling people that like man, like I'm gonna I, I bring Michael down, we just gonna do it. Um some episodes. I know uh the homies is coming down on Juneteenth, like for Juneteenth in, in uh event, man. We should go down and put all these cameras up and stuff and have him, but that would be something else, man. Like, some gangsters from LA, you know, talking to the gangsters from uh uh uh, uh, well, we you, you you haven't talked to your boy lately. Who's that? Uh, Mr. James. Yeah, I have. I have. He's, All he's right. Coming, he's coming down on. I, coming I, I doubt if I doubt if he's coming down because we we're in the mix of putting something together for that day ourselves. Oh what? Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! He called me yesterday. I saw a missed call. I didn't say I saw a missed call. But so right. he was about to tell me about that. So y'all, y'all about to do something out there? Okay. Right. We working on something. Okay. And, well, you, you know, know you know, I'm gonna be there. It's God's will. We'll we'll be able to pull it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, I got yeah. some other stuff going on um, that, that I want to do too. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about the future episodes of other stuff I want to do because well, I want to flesh it out, make sure, like, have some conversations with you and James, like, like, talk about what we want to do with it. We got some stuff there we might want to put together. All right. Oh, okay. All right, so, man, that's what we're going to be doing um, this season, man. We're going to be trying to, like, put some, put some new stuff together, put out there, be more consistent. Um, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't talk about any young ladies that you might want to interview. Um, yeah, no, well, I ain't talked about no individual person. I got some people that I, I want to interview, like, you know, but I, I don't like, I'm not going to say them by name, right? But there are some, uh, some, um, some, some, there are some females that we definitely would love to get on the next connection. I mean, love to get them. So, pull that one off. You know, that, that would be great to me. That's going to be great. Right. That story has to be told as well. You know, like, there's, a, there's a whole different dynamic, you know, with, with males and males. You know, right. right. Absolutely. You're going to sign us off, uh, 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 Michael? What are we doing, man? To sign off. I mean, we out. Yeah. I was in the heart of it, where it all happened, in the dark of it, I'm talking all the graphics, do I ever miss a block, man, they all ass it, I think it's heaven at the top, till it all crashes.